In our last video, we began the journey to transform my 1950s sunroom into a beautiful space. Today, we will make more progress and face some tricky decisions. Like, how cute, how cute. Alrighty friends, so we got the projector up. Hey guys, welcome to another video. It's your girl Kayla here. Shout out to you guys because we reached 100,000 subbies. If you caught my live, again, I just wanna thank you guys so much and stay tuned to the end of this video so we can talk all about the giveaway that I'll be doing for you guys. Um, so currently, Marcus and I are out here in the sunroom and we have not touched this space since the last video that you guys saw. And it's been about a week during that time just because, has it been a week? Almost a week. Um, just because we have a lot going on. I started work this past week. I've been super tired, all that good stuff, but yeah, you're good. But today we wanted to go ahead and give it a stab, another stab at it to put a second coat on all of the ceilings and like all of the trim, lime wash the bricks, and then we'll begin painting the floor. So that that is like the goals for this video. Um, also, I'll be opening up some packages from you guys in this video, and I hope you all enjoy it. It is a new day and we're out here in the sunroom, you guys. Look how cute it is out here. The paint came out great. And so y'all can see my grandpa is here right now and he's gonna help me put in the ceiling fans that I got in my last sunroom makeover. Um, and I'm sure you guys saw last night, Marcus um, like trying to sweep up a little bit in here and do all that. So I'm really excited to get the fans up because it's really hot in here and it'll just make it a lot easier to work. There still is some more painting that needs to be done, like right here. Those windows and stuff aren't done either. So yeah, we're about to get that done. I'm so excited. Say you wanna take some time. But if you say we'll meet again, why'd you have to take everything now? Finish one. 
about to go to the next one. All right, guys, and just like that, the second fan is up. And then we have the first one over there. Like, how cute, how cute. And so now we are trying to take this one down. This is the one that was originally here. So it was just plugged into the wall. Um, like this sort of plug here. So we're just gonna take that down now. Hey guys, so the string lights that I bought, ooh my answer, sorry y'all, y'all already know the drill. They are in this box. I got these off Amazon. Um, so I'm excited for us to like start putting these up and I would assume that the bulbs are in here. Let's see. <gasps> yes! And I really wanted the Edison light bulbs instead of like the little circular globe ones. Look how cute these are. I was expecting them to be a little bit bigger, but that's okay. They're like that. That's so cute. So yeah, we're gonna put these in and get that nice warm glow up in here. See? It works. All right, we got the green light. Let's get it. Okay, y'all, so just to update, the lights are gonna be super cute, but we need some more hooks. So in a moment, we're gonna make the Home Depot run. I mean, what's one of these home improvement DIY fixer upper vlogs without a Home Depot run? And we're also going to try to put up the projector screen tonight. I'm so excited. So because we're going to Home Depot, we're trying to see, you know, if we need any mounting accessories for this so we can get everything at the same time and not be running back and forth. So. This is the projector screen. So we just got back from Home Depot. We got everything we need, the hooks. So we're really just gonna work hard tonight on getting the lighting right. And I really wanted to do it tonight at night just to see how it looks before we get the floor all situated. So everything overhead, for the most part, can be kind of done and then get the projector up. Just so excited. So excited. And then tomorrow, begin painting the floor. We also bought a shop vacuum. You guys probably saw that in the cart. And we got that because there's like so much dirt and dust and debris on the floor from painting and this just being the project room in general. So um, we're gonna tackle that. I'm elated. So let's go ahead and get to work. Alrighty friends, so we got the projector up and it is huge, way bigger than I was even expecting, crazy you guys, like humongous, but it's really cute, cannot wait to watch movies here, so yeah, we got that done. Okay guys, so it is finally time to paint the floors. I'm super excited, but also nervous at the same time. This is the paint that I got for the flooring and for the base color, you guys know I was choosing between two different options. So 
The votes, it was crazy. It really was 50-50, honestly. So I went ahead and I got this color and I think it's gonna work. So let's swatch it and then go from there. <laughs> so in the end, I chose, I chose Moroccan Sky. Oh my gosh, this paint is so big. Because originally when this, first, this house was first built, like this whole sunroom thing wasn't there. It was just a regular patio. So they added on to it. So that's why you can see like a line here just separating the original from the new. So we're gonna use this to like seamlessly connect them, I guess, or so you won't see that big line. And this is just some concrete putty type stuff. So yeah. The traveling kind, it's a known fact. Yeah, I know that. Um, that broke and that's like what's remaining 
And now the piece that holds the paintbrush steady is broke. The paintbrush is just like the roller is just sliding off. So I think I may have another one. So I'm gonna go check for that. And then we'll keep it going. But you guys tell me down in the comments below what you think. I know it still looks wet and it's drying in some areas like back there where I started. But I think it's looking really, really good. Okay guys, so good news, we were able to use just like a regular broomstick and the, like a regular paint handle and we were able to attach them. So we made a little makeshift thingy thingy and Marcus is going to take over for me for a second because my back is like aching so bad and we're going to knock this thing out tonight. I'm so excited. So here we go. Get out, get Yeah, he sets my body in motion He just, he knows how to turn things up And he knows what gets me going. Good morning, you guys! So, it is the next morning, of course And now, guys, it's time for us to begin <laughs> It's time for us to begin stenciling! Um, I am super duper excited This is the stencil that I chose this is the stencil that I chose and I hope it looks fantastic. I am actually so nervous, but I think I'm gonna start over here, like in the corner. I feel like that's the best place to start. I really don't know. But yeah, I think I'm gonna start over here. I have the instructions here and like everything that I need to do. So these are all of my materials and I have two stencils because the website recommended that you get two. So I'm about to go ahead and mix up my paint. I'm using the cover. Oh, I can't even speak. I'm so excited and nervous and all of that at the same time, so bear with me. But I'm using the color Weather Flight by Bear. And let's go ahead and put, like open the city up. Reputation, they be looking at us. Thinking we are too much. Look at me, I'm in a bad situation. Look at him, he's got a bad reputation. I'm so nervous. So let's just go for it. I'm gonna just do like this. Get my brush wet, but not like too wet. Don't care what they say to let anyway. Why do I need to be good all the time? Got a bad history, but I want him anyway. So look at me, I'm in a bad situation. Look at him, he's got a bad reputation. But 
what about it? Why do I need to be good all the time? I'm wrapped around his finger, but he is mine. Don't care what they say, too late anyway. Why do I need to be good all the time? Okay guys, so that's about how far I got and I looked at my camera, it said 22 minutes and I did one, two, three tiles so far in 22 minutes. So you can just imagine how long this whole room will take me. So I took a second and I stepped back and I looked at the design and I really had to contemplate whether or not I want to keep going with this. I do like the design, but at the same time, last night I was telling Marcus, like, this, like, the floor looks so cute the way it is. Do I need to add an extra design element to it? Is it over designing adding this here? Um, so I don't know. I'm like thinking really hard. So I need you guys to comment down below stencil or no stencil. This is really tricky because I do think it looks really beautiful. But I would hate to do the whole entire thing and then wish I didn't do it at all. Like, is it too much? That's what my mind is thinking right now. This is what it looks like so far. Stencil or no stencil? Stencil, no stencil. So while we're thinking on that decision, I'm gonna go ahead and bring some plants out here just so I can envision the space a little bit more. We can kind of put things together a little bit and really make a cohesive decision about whether or not we wanna do the stencil. So, I'll be right back. Here's one of my new lovely plant babies for this space. Okay guys, so I wanna show you all all the new plants that I got. These are all from Lively Roof. I wanna give a shout out to them because they sent these to me and I have a code for you guys, so please make sure you check them out and shop for yourselves. These plants, they're shipped straight to your doorstep, which is super easy and convenient, and they are really great quality. So I'm so excited because this is just gonna be a plant oasis i cannot wait to set these up put them in their proper pots take them out of like the packaging that they come in but really quick let me tell you guys what i got so i got an ivy and what i love is that on the card it tells you all of the care instructions y'all know i'm trying to like grow a green thumb and i'm trying to be a good plant mom and so it's good for me to know like how to take care of the plant how much light it needs, you know, if pets, if it's good for pets. Like for example, the ivy says that um, it's toxic to dogs and cats. Y'all know I'm getting a puppy soon. And so just information like that would be good for me to know. Watering, which is super important, weekly or less. Allow the soil to dry out completely between watering. So that is my cute little ivy. I can't wait to put it up. And then I got a couple more, so I'm not quite sure how to pronounce this one. The Philodendron, um, which is this one right here. It is so beautiful, you guys. Like, look at these leaves. It's so fresh. Next, um, I got a fiddle leaf fig. You guys know what happened to my last one, Biggie Small. So I wanted to do, like, I wanted to try again, basically. So I got another one. And then the last plant I got is the Giant Bird's Paradise. And it gives a lot of information about that one. Like for example, that one enjoys bright, direct sunlight and it grows best outdoors. So I think that one will be perfect like out here in this area. So like right in front of the windows. So I'm really excited you guys. And again, 
I want to give a huge shout out to Lively Roots for sending me these beautiful plants for my sunroom. They are absolutely gorgeous and I can't wait to, like I said, put them in a proper pot and just decorate this space to the nines. Um, in my last weekly vlog, I gave you guys a hint as to like a sneak peek on the decor that I'm putting here in the sunroom. So if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check that out. And you know, we just gotta make some decisions about stencils or no stencils. Like I feel like I, sh I have to think more on it. I thought I was gonna get it all done today, but no. I gotta think more on that because that is a big, decision like this room is massive so I really have to think about if it's worth it and you guys know I have two rugs that I bought for this space already and the big rug is gonna it's like 8 by 11 it's a, a natural jute rug I had it in my last apartment I also had it here before I got my new one in the living room and so that's gonna go over there where the couch is and the projector and just like something soft or not as hard, something cozy underfoot. And then I have another round jute circular rug that's gonna go somewhere in here too. So I will have rugs. And then over here is gonna be like the table and the dining area. Your girl just don't know. So we just gonna see. All right guys, Marcus is up. He's matching the room low key. So babe, you've seen the floor. Tell the people, what do you think? Stencil or no stencil? It's cute. I just think it'd be better, like, um, if you just, what's that word? Not too much of it. Yeah, not too much? Yeah, small quantity. Like, I like, I'm thinking, like, either a trim or literally just one row of it against this side wall, just to break it up a little bit. Just a little accent, like an accent wall almost in the house. Okay. Um, I see, I don't even think an accent would look good. Like for me, I'm thinking it's all or it's nothing. Uh, because yeah. just like a little trim, I don't know, I feel like that would look awkward. Mm. Uh, this is so tricky. So would you say do the whole, would you say do the whole floor like this or definitely do not do the whole floor like this? Definitely don't do the whole floor. Okay, um, definitely what about not. What you just did the corners? Like three and then three going that way. Three going this way? Yeah. Oh, Marcus, no. That'll look hideous. What? Don't do it at all. Kayla don't like none of my ideas. I'm getting No, <laughs> baby. <laughs> you guys. I do like his ideas. I appreciate the feedback. But it's like for me, I just know like that won't look cute just to have the corners there. Like it'll look unfinished. It won't look purposeful you know so i feel like it has to be all of it needs to be done or none of it needs to be done now my mom also suggested something similar like doing maybe a big square or something right here in the middle like a little like you were saying almost like a little accent somewhere in the middle where there's not going to be a rug and in between the table so that could be a possibility y'all let me know what you think about that right now in my heart in my heart <laughs> I'm leaning towards none of it. Like, just 86 the idea and paint over it back the original color. We actually ran out. Got about a whole nother gallon of that stuff. They only sell it by the gallon for whatever reason. Um, but Mark is talking about leaving it. No, babe, if we're not doing it, we gotta cover that up. Or what y'all think? We should just leave it? Oh, that look weird. I don't know. So anyways, like I said, I do have a whole bunch of footage to show you guys from all the PO packages that I have been getting. But before we get into that, I do want to talk about the giveaway. So basically, all you have to do is follow me on Instagram at younglady_business, and also type in your Instagram down in the description box. I'm down in the comment section, type in your Instagram, and that's pretty much all you have to do to win. Now, if you do not have an Instagram, I know a lot of you guys who follow me, you don't. Type, you can type in your email address if you're comfortable, because I need some sort of way to get in contact with you in case you win the giveaway. So yeah, those are basically your two ways to enter. Either enter your email if you're comfortable with that, 
or enter in your Instagram. Instagram will be the easiest way, but also make sure you're following me on Instagram and make sure you're subscribed to my channel. All right, friends, first package. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. This packaging is gorgeous. I'm taking notes, sis. I'm taking notes. So this is from, it says the Diva Shop. Oh, Diva Shop. It says, hey, Kayla, you're doing an awesome job and wanted to let you know you've inspired me in so many ways. I wanted to send you some items from my shop. I know you will love. Thank you, Gerilyn. Oh, my gosh. And I see your PS. Okay, sis. Thank you so much. A really cute pin. This is perfect. I'm so going to take this to work with me. I mean, girl, this packaging is everything. Um, 31 days of affirmations deck. Oh my gosh this is so cute i can do all things through christ i have peace that surpasses all understanding mm. oh this is so cute you guys i've never seen a business card like this like it's so small and square also this is a bookmark seems like a bookmark yeah it is a bookmark it says i can do all things through christ that strengthens me who strengthens me wonderful Ooh, some cute paper clips girl i'm about to be in your store boss babe daily planner and a gratitude journal oh my gosh thank you so much you guys please um shop with her this is beautiful thank you so so much for everything like I'm going to cherish it and a pencil. She believed she could and did. Period. So next up, we have a package from Laquita. It says, hey, Kayla, I love watching your channel. I wanted to say thank you. Keep up the good work and God bless. Aw, thank you so much. So we have a little baggie here, shaping little minds with kindness and love. Why do you guys know me so well? Let me bring it closer so y'all can see. And it smells good. Thank you. This is so sweet. And we have something red. Y'all are reading it before I do. Difference maker hashtag teacher. Oh my gosh, I love that leopard down there, girl. Yes. Thank you. Oh my gosh, this looks so cute. I don't know if there's a website or anything you guys can go to. Didn't really say, but if there is girl call me next up we have another big package oh this looks cool all right there's a beautiful note hi kayla aka young lady business thank you for sharing your diy and travel vlogs with us oh aka jay pitzer i recognize your name your youtube name right i think that's the one i see like a lot under the comments on youtube so thank you oh my goodness look how beautiful how did you know i needed a bonnet i was just thinking to myself today man i put a scarf on my head tonight it's gonna get flat and a lot of the bonnets that i've had in the past they always gave me headaches so that's why i just been wearing scarves lately and i had braids so this is adorable and the inside is satin line period she also has these cute scrunchies i love scrunchies and these are so adorbs Yes, y'all are getting me set. A mass is in here. Super cute. We have, is this the necklace? It has to be. Oh, is this, and I think this is the sash or like a head wrap. Oh no, this is the sash for the bonnet. I don't know how to use this sash, but this is a cute little tie. Yes. Thank you so, so much, Nana Glam 58 for these beautiful gifts. Like, I'm definitely gonna wear this. All right, next package is from Tavia. Oh no, Travia. I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing y'all's names wrong. Please correct me in the comments. Okay. Hey Kayla, thank you so much for making great quality YouTube videos. You have such a radiant energy and every time I watch your videos, it uplifts me. Thanks girl. I would love to give you and Marcus some personal care products from Copacetic Skincare. I hope I'm saying that right, Copacetic. 
How you say that? C O P N. Is it copacetic? Okay, copacetic skincare. The lavender set is for you, and Marcus has his own personal container of lemon grass lotion. Oh my goodness, he's gonna be so happy. <laughs> Babe, come here. All of the ingredients are organic, and the scent is 100% essential oil. Yes. We have a non different gift from copacetic skincare. I think the lotion is supposed to be for you. Look at this packaging. Y'all are giving me so much inspo, like, period. Ooh. So cute. Lavender. Oh my gosh. Yes, I love the way you wrap that to make sure like nothing comes out. Lemongrass. That's yours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we have a lavender. Is this soap? I forgot what it said in the thing. Oh, it's a set, a lavender set. So for me, it's like the lotion and the body wash. Oh, how does it smell? Smells good. Like lemongrass, good stuff. Oh, wait, I want to smell it too. This is <sighs> so beautiful. Take a deep oh, it on my lip. Mm -hmm. It smells beautiful. I love that scent. Mm -hmm. And lavender. Oh, wait, let me lift this. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. This smells like a spa day. Oh, yeah, it do. It's nice. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. This is so awesome. I'll de I'm definitely going to be using these okay i appreciate it Weird. all right hi my name is kayla williams and i've been watching your channel for a long time and i absolutely love your channel you are such an inspiration to women and i wanted to give you some of my products for my skincare line i started my business k amore skincare back in january and so far it's been a blessing i'm so happy for you taking that step to be an entrepreneur is a big deal I wanted to give you one of our best sellers, the Sugar Cookie Set. Period. I love that scent. Or smell. It comes with a foaming scrub that you can wash and exfoliate your body with and also pair it with the Sugar Cookie Body Butter. Ooh! That moisturizes you without leaving a greasy feeling that we all hate. Hmm. Lastly is our new Sugar Cookie Body Oil to lock in that moisture and have you smelling good all day long. Yes, girl! Ooh! So packaging. Cute. I love the stickers. Oh my gosh, y'all are on point with it. Look how cute this is, you guys. Like, oh wait, I don't want to drop everything, but I want to show y'all. This is so nice. Oh my gosh, so much inspo. Product care. Y'all, look at this packaging. This color is so cute. Thank you for shopping small. Handmade with love. Look how cute. Oh my goodness. I love your logo, by the way. So sugar cookie body butter. You want to open one of these up so we can smell it? This is the oh, body you butter. Two? Well, I know you're going to love this. It's warm vanilla already. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it smells like cookies. <laughs> it smells so good. Miss Blanche, you smell you smell <laughs> like like cookies. <laughs> this smells the same, right? This smells the exact same. Oh my gosh, this smells I wanna eat it. It <laughs> smells right. like butter. Like it smells like sugary goodness. Oh wait, did you show them that one, babe? Oh. The logo and stuff, because that's so cute. Girl, you know what you're doing. And we have a sugar cookie body oil. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to go like pamper myself when I get home from work. You know, smell good. This make me want to go to Insomnia Cookie. Right? And cheat, but we eat healthier nowadays, so. Girl, this is beautiful. Keep doing you, honey. I'm so happy your business is booming. I hope it continues to boom, so y'all check her out. Okay, we have one more. I love this packaging also. I like the color of it. It's really cute. Y'all are just on point with it. Hey, Kayla. I am Shirley. I see. I've been a subby for about eight months. Oh my gosh. So you literally were here from the beginning. 
and you have been an inspiration to me. I love watching your channel and I love the content you've been putting out. You have made quarantine enjoyable and productive. It is awesome to see all the hard work you and your boyfriend have put into your new home and I the expansion <laughs> of your platform. People be calling me your fiance or partner. I'm like, bro. <laughs> Why does it make you mad? No, I thought she was going to mistake me, but she a real subscriber. She know. Yeah. She know who I is. Your content has motivated me to do DIY projects at home and start my own business this year called ShirleyIZ.co. Is it Shirley Is? I'm probably saying that wrong. Mm -hmm. After watching you paint your home, I saw you had paint in your hair, and I wanted to mm -hmm. send you a handmade bonnet from my new Shirley IZ. It's probably Shirley Is. Mm -hmm. Shirley Is, right? Mm -hmm. Shirley Is dot co launch to help protect your hair. Mm -hmm. Shirley Is dot co is a black and woman owned small business that produces handmade bonnets and headbands. These bonnets are double sized and has a snug but comfortable fit that protects your hair and locks in moisture. So Mark is probably gonna try to steal this for me. <laughs> what? Because <laughs> his locks. That's why. Anyways, Shirley is merges comfort and style to each item. Girl, mm -hmm. I love the way you sell in this item right now, honey. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is so cute packaging. Like, y'all are on point with it. Look how cute this is. And on the back, it's like a little green strip with all the socials and stuff. A handmade with love. This is beautiful. Yes, you guys. love this print like really like this is gorgeous and this is her tag shop small hashtag small business and it has like the little symbols down there so you know how to care for your items oh my gosh and it's extra big this is so cute thank you so much and the inside is lined with green like what a nice surprise green is my favorite color <laughs> so cuties okay friends so i know that was long but these are all the packages that you guys sent to me and i definitely wanted to um shout everybody out and just give some love to everybody um for literally everything that i received it's so great to see like a lot of you guys who have your own small businesses and big entrepreneurs out here and I'm really excited to try all of your products and hopefully continue supporting you guys. And hopefully you continue supporting me. All right, friends. So that concludes today's video. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed it. This is part two of my sunroom makeover. Please make sure you continue to watch all of my videos. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And then, of course, comment down below, you guys. It helps me out so, so, so much when you guys interact with me here on my videos. And please make sure you also enter the giveaway. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.